Hello friends, this is your girl Josie. I can't believe that it's Christmas already. Yes, it is. I hope everybody is doing very well. Merry Christmas. Let's go into this video. In today's video, I want to unstaff my $1, $5 and my coins. Yes, you guys know that I did travel out of the country. So I didn't work for like the whole month I travel and I also still doesn't have work now. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to unstaff my $1, my $5 and my coins to kick off the year because I don't have any income coming in and we are using my husband's income for our variable expenses and our fixed expenses. So when it comes to like my sinking fund savings challenges, I haven't really prepared for that yet. So this money is going to help me kick off the new year strong and nice. So that's why I always tell you guys, I love savings challenge. This is one of the main reasons why I started saving my $1 and my $5 and my coins anytime I unstaff my envelope. And I did unstaff them the six month mark and I'm going to do the rest what I did for the rest of the year. So let's go into it. Yeah, I hope you guys remember these jars. Yes, these are my jars. I have a jar for the one dollar and I have a jar for the five dollars. We didn't do as much as we did just like the six month, but this is something. Yes, it's something for me to kick off for my saving, not my savings channel, especially my sinking fund, especially. So this is gonna help me do that. For the new year so let's go ahead and check how much coins we have and i'm going to take it to the to the coins box and change it to paper form so how much do we have now let's see how much we have yes so we have hundred dollars and 45 tens hule i really really love this coins job because it tells you how much you have anytime you anytime you put the coins in so i have a lot of videos putting in my coins and stuff and i'm super super excited that i did this challenge if you don't have to do any savings challenge i urge you to save all your coins even if you are not a cash staffer or if you even though you are not a cash person trust me try saving all your coins that you get maybe in the house when you buy something in, with a cash in case and save them and you will never never regret for doing that so this is the whole year how much i did got from the coins that i was saving hundred dollars and 45 cents can help me put something in my sinking fund so that's really a good one let's put that one on the side and i'll go ahead and empty the five dollars i didn't have a lot of five dollars as compared to the six months but it's still something i'll put that one on the side so i didn't have a lot like i said but this is still something so this is the five dollars and let me do the one the one dollar that said i laugh so much it's really 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 full really full guys so let's empty everything So these are the ones and these are the fives. Since the five is very small, I'll count that one first. Okay. So let's see how many fives that we have. I have 28 of the fives. So 28 of the fives, let me get my calculator. So that'll be five times 28. So I have 140 of the fives, 140. Let's go ahead and do the ones. The ones that I lost. So 
so that's hundred and twenty seven dollars for the one dollar so that will be if i add everything it means i'm gonna get 140 plus 127 plus 100.45 so in total i have 367 dollars 45 cent from the six months that i saved my one dollar my five dollars and my coins that's pretty pretty good so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to put it to kick off my um, sinking fund for the coming year. You guys will see that video for the, for the new year. So thank you so much for watching me today. If you have not been doing that, I urge you to start from there. At least your $1 and your $5 and your coins. If you are a cast staffing person, it's easy to do that. But if you are not even a cast staffing person, you can still save your dollar and $5 into your savings account if you are consistently moving them in your savings account. Thanks for watching me today. This is one of the challenges that I'm going to do this coming year. So if you want to follow along, come join me and let's do this together and i wanted to show you guys something the jar that i'm going to use this coming year for my five dollars and my one dollar so i'm not going to take them out i'm just going to keep them in this jar for the whole year and at the end of the year i'm going to cast out it so let me show you the jar quick <laughs> This is the jar I got, very big jar. I got it from Home and Goods. And it was like, I think it was like, I don't think it was up to $5, if I'm not mistaken. Very big. And this is all I'm going to put in my, my $1 and $5. This is really, really big. So that's what I'm going to use. Thanks for watching me today. If you're a new subscriber, I just want to give a shout out, especially I want to you. Welcome for being part of my friends. And if you haven't clicked on the subscribe button, please go ahead and do so, so that you wouldn't miss any of my video. Merry Christmas. Bye.